Hey everyone, I'm Sawyer, and I'm going to walk you through how I can go from a design part to a mold all on the 3D Experience platform. To do this, I'll be using my 3D Mold Creator role, but more specifically, I'll be using the Xmold app to get this done. First things first, I'm going to check out my tasks with the Collaborative Tasks app just to make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to. And I see here I have a Create Mold for Guard Lever. I'm just going to move this into InWork. So whoever assigned it to me understands that, yes, I'm working on it and can keep track of my progress. The next thing I'll do, is I'm going to switch to my Xmold app and I'll create a new component for that. Let's call this our guard lever mold. And I can create this. This is just going to be a blank part. So I need to import geometry or import something in to create a mold around. So I'll use this insert geometry and I can choose my component. Now I'm going to be searching for literally everything I have access to on the platform. So I can use my six W tags and the search bar at the top to help me shrink down that search scope just a little bit. I'm looking for a specific one. I can find it and I can open it up and import it into this mold. Once this comes in, I'll have the part that I'm going to create a mold for, and I can take a look at it. Now, first things first, it looks like uh, Wayne didn't put any draft on this part, but that's an easy fix for us. But the first thing I want to do is I just want to split this in half, basically, so that way I have somewhere to draft from on either side. So I'm going to do this with a plane. So I'll select, pre-select my face. I can add my reference plane in here and let's make this a zero offset just so it's sitting on that top face. Then I can split this. I'll split my body using that plane. And all I'm doing is just splitting that face so I can draft on one side or the other. I'm done with my plane, so I'm gonna hide it for now. And then now I can work on that draft that maybe got forgot, maybe was forgotten about when we were designing this part. So I can use my draft tool I'll just select somewhere in the middle, just as a neutral entity. And I want to put one degree of draft. All I have to do is select the faces and just double check it's going in the right direction. I can do the same thing on the other side using that same selection. I can select my faces, but if we look closely, it's going to the wrong side. So I'll just flip the direction, adjust my angle, and finish off my selections. Now that I have my draft on the part, the rest of this is fairly straightforward. If I go to my mold features tab on the bottom, I can just work my way left to right, starting with my pulling direction, then the parting line, any shut off surfaces, create my parting surface, and then the fun stuff is create my core and my cavity. So I'll just start on the left and work my way to the right. Pulling direction, I'm going to grab the pretty much the same face I used to set up my draft. And I'll notice I get the feedback letting me know that the green ones are good for that pulling direction and the red ones, they're not bad. It just means they're going on the other, other direction. So that should be the middle of my part. I'll create my parting line. And if my draft set up correctly, it should pull everything out automatically. And I shouldn't have to do too much work. Keep going, I can grab my shut off surface. It'll read my parting line, read my part, and create these nice shut off surfaces along it. Next step is creating my parting surface. So again, it's gonna read the parting line, read my direction of pull, and it's going to create my parting surface. Now we'll notice here, it's not fully closing this off, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work. I can exclude some edges from my parting surface. So now I have this nice little cutout here. I can then come in afterwards and fill in this surface to close it off. So first things first, I'm just going to create a curve between these two points just as a place to close off my surface. And then I can use my fill surface, selecting the lines that I want.
And if all goes well, I'll get my preview. I can hit the green check now. So now I have a fully enclosed parting surface. Going back to my mold features tab, last thing to do here is do my tooling split. Now this is gonna prompt me for a sketch profile. I don't have one, so I can just go to the bottom right and I can create it now. For this, I just wanna make sure that I have a rectangle big enough that it closes in everything, but doesn't go outside my parting surface. I can go back to my tooling split command, reselect now that sketch that I just created, and it's gonna to start to create my core and my cavity. These are a little big, so I'm gonna shrink these down a little bit, so they're only 25 millimeters tall, and I can hit the green check. So what that's doing, it's creating my core and my cavity based off that part. If I come through and hide everything but the core, we can see just the cavity here highlighted in red. So it's gonna have all the geometry knocked out that when we go to injection mold this, it should work for. I finished up the work I had to do. And when I move that task from in work to finished, whoever assigned it to me is gonna get notified. However, the rest of my team might not know. So before I go, I'm gonna position myself so I can see my mold nice and clear. And I can share this either as a picture or a 3D. So you know what, let's do it as a 3D. I can save this component before I export and it'll launch and give me the option to share this out with the rest of the team. I'll make sure I'm in the right tenant. This will be a post. I'll put this under our circular salt project. When I publish this now, it'll go right to our circular salt community and everybody's gonna be updated with my progress. I can then go to my tasks, take this in work, create mold for guard lever, and we can just throw this into completed.